New on Midday, business and state leaders just wrapped up a big biannual summit meant to shape Utah into the future. The governor hosted what's called the One Utah Summit to discuss our state's economic successes and how to keep it going. ABC 4's Ali Arulian is live from the Grand America Hotel there in downtown Salt Lake where that summit just concluded. So Ali, what goes on at this summit? Well, this summit is really trying to exemplify diversity, growth, and collaboration within the state. But two main takeaways that we see today are renewable and re reforming energy in our state, as well as helping the workforce of women here in Utah. Now, the summit talking about economic growth, progress in Utah's higher education, new developments in biotech, and more. But a big topic today, energy. The governor announcing a new energy plan for Utah, emphasizing clean, renewable, and independent energy for the state. He says the state is looking to work with the legislators to decarbonize the state and increase hydrogen energy, including the production of hydrogen cars. Cox also also emphasizing the importance of making Utah a better place for women in our workforce. Our focus has to be on improving the life of women in our state. Um, you've heard today, and, and this is not something we shy away from, we recognize that Utah has not been a leader in the space of, of helping women accomplish their goals and their dreams, and, uh, and we're trying to do more and more there. Now, Governor Cox also talking about his stance on abortion along the lines of women in the state and what the state will do and should do if the Supreme Court overturns Roe v. Wade. So we'll have that right here on ABC4 at 5. Reporting live in Salt Lake City, I'm Ali O'Rulian, ABC4 News.